and he will go to here. Here you can you have a DVD disc in your DVD burner like this, so I can export the sequence into a DVD. So you can click here, export to DVD. Now if I open up, check it, check the disc in my DVD burner, and here they open the burn DVD. Maybe you're familiar with here, so I just very quickly to show you. Here you can export into a burner disc, or you can export into a into your hard disk and you can export as an ISO image so you can burn it in from a, a burning software here here I just export it burn it as a DVD disk and the disk then I make it as a Moxai Kuchu and the disk then in here you are better to keep it the under a character in here but in here I just made more than a character yeah, no problem I have I know and the burn location this is my my burner DVD burner okay let's check it if you put a DVD disc they cannot see the DVD disc so you can click on this scan so you can you will run run your DVD burner and let scan the disc like this they are ready and how many copy you burn it if you want, you can burn a six copy or one copy. I hear here. If you put it to more than one copy, so when they finish uh, the copy, they will call you to insert another blend this into uh, the DVD burner and click OK to burn the next DVD in here. In here, I just burn one disk only. Start here, ready ready to burn yeah. export range in here entire sequence and for the what everybody you know get for my project 11 second 15 frame yeah to soft for DVD disc but for the example I just keep it loop play better mean on the disc on the DVD disc when you put it on a DVD player and they play it again and again if you want it you can enable loop play back in here but for me I yeah I just click it loop play back again and again and the encoder setting you can open up in here here the encoding setting I will show you more about the setting from here later using the Adobe encoder but for the example in here I just very quickly select the preset from here right here NTSC DV 4 by 3 the high quality 7 megabit uh, constant bit rate one pass okay audio video like this so I use the default no problem because very soft I don't need to calibrate to keep the higher quality possible like this and click burn to burn the disk now let's see here you see encoding the media burning in progress now encoding like this pause at only 11 second and 15 frame burning is really fast huh? if you have one hour or two hour moving you see in your sequence they maybe they take a more than maybe they can take more than two hour five hour or more than one day two day to encode and call your sequence depend on the complexity they, on your sequence here here they has the current taste current taste burning in progress okay they have encoding finished the encoding and now they burning burning the sequence into a DVD disk how about that burning disk 1 or 1 yeah. I burn one disc only. Come on. It's burning. Burning the disc. Um yeah, of course if you want to cancel, of course you can cancel it. But like this I will keep it burn it. Come on, come on. Yeah, here. Go, 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 go. 
Okay, here we have finished the recording. Export finished. We can close it and we put it back to my driver and let's check it. It will open up. Check on the disk here and here we can use the selected player like this. We click here. Oh, he cannot play it. No problem. We can check it into another another player. Okay, no problem. You can here this the DVD disc. You can check it. Put it back. Put it back on your computer, or you can check it in a DVD player and play it. We cannot play this from my computer here. How about we check in here? Right click in. Okay, okay. You can check it. Put it in your DVD player yeah, and check it. How about the video? But in here, I cannot play again. Yeah, I cannot show you how about the uh, result. I just eject it. Check it in your DVD player. Okay, we go back to Adobe Premiere Pro. 